It's always a great day when we get to fly a new RC jet, whether it's new to me or just new in general, I'm happy because we're getting to fly something. This is the FMS Rafale, a French twin turbine jet in real life. And in the RC version, it is a single 64 millimeter EDF. So very similar to the E-Flight F-15 Eagle, which is a really, really good jet. I gotta hand it to FMS. If there is one thing they do right in the RC world, whether it's with their ground vehicles, trucks, crawlers, and now we're really seeing it on this jet, the attention to detail with the scale looks is very nice. It's all over the place. I mean, check it out. If you want, if you want to see some small attention to detail, look at these additional little fins here up on the front end of the jet. You just don't see those little plastic things and they're pre-installed. I did have to install things like this little nose and it's interesting, it actually clips on. It's not magnetic, I thought that was kind of interesting. This uh, refueling nozzle, this air to air refueling. I think these are dorsal fins, I'm showing, I know nothing really. And I had to install the wings and the vertical stabilizer. There's two things that I don't love about the assembly of this and maybe might not hold up extremely well over time. I'll tell you guys what those are, maybe while I'm flying, maybe after it's on the ground because I'm excited of the fly. So let's put this 64 millimeter EDF with our landing gear. I will show you this before we take off. The functioning shocks and then the actual articulation back there of the little shock. It's really cool. It's pretty stiff so I don't know if it's actually going to do a lot while we're flying this thing. And we're flying on a 4S 2200 milliamp battery which is one of my personal favorites. And let's hand it to him. I love the way this thing looks. So let's put it in the air and we'll keep talking while it's flying. Let's go. Personally, I love the Tiger scratch and stripes. I think it looks amazing. And I really wish more companies would do that kind of stuff. I like the wild side of RC. Some guys would want this to be plain gray. So to you, you're gonna like the fact that those Tiger scratches and stripes are stickers, though they do come installed. So I don't know, you just, you can never make everybody happy. I like seeing the variety. I think it's really cool. I have a lot of gray jets, so I like the tiger scratches and stripes on there. And then this has Reflex V2 in here, and I'm flying on a dumb tactic receiver, but with that Reflex. And it's on right now, so wish me luck. Oh yeah, okay. I probably could put some Expo in my radio, but I am flying on tactic. Now those Elevons in the back give us um, elevator and aileron movement, but we do have functioning rudder, which is nice. Downside to a 64 millimeter is that we don't have retracts. Some guys are gonna hate that. It keeps the cost down, but it hurts the scale look. So, you know, it's like the new SR71 that came out. A lot of people wanted it to be bigger, but if it was, not everyone could afford to buy it. Not that everyone can afford to buy it the way it is. When we have this price of airplane, you're losing a few things like retracts. Even though um, six or seven years ago, you could spend $150 on like a P-51 from Tower Hobbies and it had retracts. They weren't the prettiest, but they worked. Uh, we'll just never see that again, sadly. So it's flying great. This is really good for a maiden with my old tactic radio. I've got it in the uh, reflex. We're just gonna call it like safe equivalent. And now I'm gonna turn it off and hope it's flying level, nice and level. And so the reflex acts just a little bit extra overly sensitive to me when I'm flying with that on. Uh, things kind of waggle a little bit, but it keeps it level. When you turn it off, I'm getting much smoother, more level flight, and I feel like I'm more in control. That roll rate is just awesome right out of the box. That makes me really happy. Let's go for like a double roll here. The one, two. Yeah, two's good. I wanted to do three, but... Notice that I nosed up before entering that. That way you're just giving straight aileron input and nothing else. Oop, a little close to us, Abby. Hey, let's see what, like, what we'll do on a climb. There's full throttle. We're probably gonna stall out here. There's our stall point right there without much airspeed going into that. That's not horrible. It's heavy with all the extra missiles and fuel tanks on there. They can come on and off very easily. They're just lock key, which I love. And rudder is nice. I like the addition to rudder. Like I said, there's a couple things about this model that I wasn't a huge fan of. I think I wanna show you guys probably when I'm on the ground. So uh, really the only thing is the rudder, but very, very specifically 
a couple things. In flight, it's great, but the vertical stabilizer installation, just, they, I don't know, they, they could have, I think there was a better option. Uh, and as I said, I'll show you when it's back on the ground. Let's try for a touch and go. A little bit of a tailwind, but not much. It's a light breeze, so let's see what we can do. Down the runway. That's okay. Throttle. Elevator. Oh, Ooh, that was close. That was close. That was close. You almost took out yeah. the light. <laughs> I used on the elevator too much. <laughs> you did. Yeah. Let's go for a loop out here. I should climb just a hair. Move it down and loop it. Now I'm gonna. I'm, I know I'm getting the name wrong. I think when I say dorsal fins, the little little extra horizontal stabilizers up near the nose of the jet that make this thing look so cool. How dare you not know that name, uh, Nathan? I don't know. I'm just. I'm what a failure! <laughs> just I, kidding. I, yeah, I, yeah, I uh, <laughs> names are bad for me. And um, I don't know, so usually that's my I job think to the know. Real so someone tell me. Those function like elevators, and they can roll too. So it'd be really cool if those were functional. But they're not. They're just there for looks. But they nailed the scale looks of this thing. It's just beautiful. I love, love how this looks. Pretty proud of myself too, because I didn't need any trim on this, like at all. Uh, it, it maybe could use a touch of trim, but it's flying really well for just a tactic. There's no no safe other than the uh, what I had on. I'm so off. sorry. I think I just lost that. I don't know. <laughs> it is fast. Double touch and go. Yeah, you meant to do that, Beautiful. didn't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyone can do one touch and go. You can do two. <laughs> That's not scale, little... Nate. Actually, I'm flying pretty scale. <laughs> Let's do a step. Double touch Let's and go. It. Yeah. Oh, no, my battery's definitely. Oh, it just there. sags. Oh, <gasps> I'm landing. I'm, I'm going this way. I don't want to do the whole bounce, oh. so we're just going to land it down there. Oh, what a bounce. Yeah, that was pretty rough. Ouch, at so least it wasn't battery. retracts. We're going to see how durable it is. Um, You didn't tell me I needed to keep track of your flight, sir. Was that my fault? Oh, it was my fault. We're at, what are we at? I've been on for five minutes. Okay, so we want to fly for probably four minutes. <laughs> you didn't this. tell me. Oh, no, I would have thought five. <laughs> I didn't know I was supposed to be keeping track. Probably my fault because I didn't think about it. And let's just say it's Nate's fault. It's easier. That's a long walk of shame. <laughs> that was a pretty rough landing. Oh, yeah. Oh, it looks a I little cooked, bent. When I tell you I cooked the battery, I cooked it like a <laughs> like a well-done steak at the roadhouse. I mean, it's fried. Oh, so, your landing gear. you know, this is the moment where I could have off camera bent the gear back. Oh, I didn't do anything. Right. And a lot of people do that. But it just happens, it happens, especially on a Maiden. You know why? Because you do a Maiden and you don't really know how long you can fly. And you know, you think five minutes is good, but I should have known. It's an EDF. It's our fault. It's our fault, totally our fault. It was, it was flying fantastic. I was having a great time and that's the problem. I was having so much fun, I forgot. This is gonna run out of juice. I actually knew it's gonna run out of juice, yeah. but I was probably about a minute away from planning on landing. So. The only thing that happened actually was this popped off, which as I showed you at the beginning, it's designed Looks to pop to off. It's fine. Uh, it's very minimally scratched. The scratches are super minimal, so I'm surprised how tough it is. It yeah, like these got bent a little. Right there. That's bent. the only scratch I see. That's bent right back there. a hair. That's bent oh, back yeah, just back a hair. Gear are. And this one obviously got twisted pretty hard. So let's try it on camera here. It's either going to break or it's going to fix it. <laughs> Mm. There was a cool little pretty thing that went back here that snapped off, <laughs> so that's gone. And fixed. Is it Mostly. steerable? We'll see. <laughs> didn't strip the... Uh, it might not be steerable. It popped out of the servo arm, okay? It popped out, but I can pop that. Oh, There's there goes radio. your tactic radio. We're just killing it today. Literally. <laughs> yeah, it just... The little arm popped out, so I can easily pop that back in, and we should should still yeah. should still steer some. Eh, it's, I need to bend it some more. Yeah. Okay, it flies great, and you just need to set your timer to like four minutes, and you'll come in fine on a 2200. That battery is hot. That was my fault. We're gonna bend that back, pop that back in place, and it should still function. We'll still fly it. If not, I'll just order another landing. Gear. You loved it though, didn't you? Yeah, oh, I still love it. As I said, during the assembly, there was really one thing that I wasn't super fond of, and that was with the vertical stabilizer. And this is why. When you're running the wires that comes from this and to the fuselage, you're plugging it in and then sitting it on here to connect it. 
there is a small hole and I took a picture so hopefully it looks okay and you can see this and you're supposed to run the wires underneath that so it's not pinched well don't actually run the wire in the hole or you're going to run the wire in the air cavity here up next to the fan blades of the motor that'd be a huge huge mistake so don't do that they actually squish down right in the picture where i show them and you're safe there you could put a little dab of glue to hold them down if you need an extra hand to hold those wires down the other thing that i don't love is the fact that the vertical stabilizer is only glued on i think they could have had a plastic housing with two bolts on each side and it would have made it just a little more secure but as long as you glue it well you shouldn't have anything to worry about so yeah that was glued on otherwise FMS, they're basically making model jets and model RC vehicles that fly. Uh, it's awesome. And it doesn't cost much more to have those extra scale details and looks. I think they killed it. I love how this looks because I like things just to be a little bit more interesting, a little still scale, but it just, and I know that this exists in real life and stuff, but, and as you can see, it is a sticker and it's painted under the sticker. So if a person didn't like the stickers, you could peel those up and you just have your gray jet. Uh, and they seem to hold Unless on. Unless it peels the paint with it. It could, you'd have to be very careful with that. Well, hopefully your drone landing is better for them than <laughs> your emergency we'll try. landing. We'll try, we'll try. Uh, and as I said, these tanks and missiles, which one of them got a scratch, and they would fly better and longer if we took these off. These create tons of drag. So if we wanted a five minute flight within you know, safe uh, frame there, we could take tank, missile, missile, all those off, and we'd probably get higher performance and longer flight time too. So guys, this will be linked in the description box below. And as I demonstrated, and I happily do all the time, anyone's capable of crashing, whether it's your fault, the plane's fault, whatever, today's my fault. I just pushed my battery a little too far, which I tend to do on jets on a semi-regular basis now. I fly with AMA and I highly recommend that you also fly with AMA. It's the Academy of Model Aeronautics. My battery could have died while I was pointed at a car and the car would have had a busted window, possibly. Uh, and for those moments, that's why I'm glad to fly with insurance. It's pretty simple. It comes in at a third of the price of this jet too, roughly, and you can be insured for the whole year. So that'll be linked in the description box below where this jet is linked. We have I believe a coupon code exclusive to our channel that saves our subscribers 10%. So be sure to look for that coupon code by the link. If you enjoy our videos, the honesty, the truth, and everything we show here, uh, <sighs> if it means something to you. Even when it embarrasses us. Yeah, it's always embarrassing. Ever so slightly. <laughs> uh, if you enjoy our content and you wanna support us, whether you're thinking about this jet or some other FMS thing, and they have tons of stuff, new things out right now, it's pretty awesome. Uh, we'll have two websites linked below for you. One for the US viewer and one for the worldwide viewer. So if you live anywhere outside the US, there's a link for you. If you live in the US, there's a link for you. And for today, and my tail tucked between my legs again, as, uh, as I tend to do sometimes, I wanna thank God for blessing us with the opportunity to get in front of the camera, fly, and share this moment with you guys for this experience because Every time I make a mistake, I learn something. And one of these days, I'm going to remember to make my maiden jet flights very short. And I do that sometimes. My next one, I'll probably remember. Uh, so I thank, I thank him for the reminder and just the, uh, the humble reminder that we all make mistakes. Don't feel alone. If you've gone out and flown and you've crashed three or four times in a row, you're not alone. You're not alone. It's okay. Get back on the horse. Your fifth time will be a success. And if not, I'll bet your sixth or seventh time will. So... <laughs> thanks to you guys for watching a massive thanks to all of our patreon supporters because we couldn't do what we do as often as we do it without your insanely awesome support bye we just filmed our tiktok and they had like the best landing ever so i'm sorry youtube shorts not tiktok sorry youtube please don't punish us for me saying that oh, let me get it <laughs> off of auto oh, no, here okay it was really good this is a nice evening to fly cool throwing in some bonus footage like this like an extra minute to fly i did a snap too oh yeah get a snap in there for yeah me. i'll try one more hurry and then land before you even have to snap it and land it yeah yep if we can let's build up the airspeed baby come on Leonardo, michelangelo oh. yeah i gotta get that roll over <laughs> roll over baby not ashamed to safe all right you landing yeah let's try it I don't like to say I'm landing because then if I don't, you know how that goes. 
Oh, not as good. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'll take it. And That's I filmed fine. it yeah. terribly, too. So you know what's that. really cool is I thought I completely messed up my front nose wheel on that, but just a little bending it back in place. Look at this. I can still steer it this way. I can still steer it that way. Everything is fine. This thing is a beast. It's pretty tough. You probably don't have enough juice for one more landing, do you? Well, you know what? There's always Oh time my gosh. More. There's always time for one more. This is why we have this show. This is why our channel is full of mistakes. I gotta turn my mic around, but oh well. Alright, land again. I'll film it better this time, I swear. Come on, my or uh battery. Come on, battery, come on, battery. How's that? Yeah, right on. Good job. Right on the grass. Okay, everybody have a good day.